finished romper with a hood and you'll see because I slip stitched together the seam you can't even hardly notice like it's absolutely stunning so thick and warm and because we did the decreases you'll see that we ended up with a curve on the hood rather than having a full square corner which just makes things look a little bit nicer it's just nicer we have our buttons which are adorable all in all this is a great little romper if you'd like to see how I made this stick around another quirky project by Billy 50 designs for this project I'm going to be using USA style spot saver four seasons yarn um, that is comparable to um, maybe a 10, 10 to 12 ply. And I'm going to use a 5.5 millimeter hook with it. This is going to be a really fun one. I'm going to start with a slip stitch and I'm going to chain 53 plus one. So 54, cause I want one turning chain. So Now we're going to start our pattern. We're going to need some stitch markers and starting in the second chain from the hook because uh, we had 53 plus one, which is 54, but that one was for our turning chain. So I'm going to single crochet nine, one, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now the next stitch we're going to have is going to be our first corner. One, I'm going to chain two and then one back in there and I'm going to mark that space so we chain two next we've got another nine so one two three four Six, seven, eight, and nine. And again, in the next stitch, we're going to do single crochet, chain two, and single crochet back into that stitch. And then we are going to mark the chain two with a stitch marker. Now I'm going to do 13. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. <coughs> and then in the next stitch, I'm going to do a single crochet, chain two single crochet 
and mark that stitch now another nine one two three four five six seven eight and nine and then one single crochet chain two one single crochet into the next stitch and we will mark that chain two space and then we should have nine more stitches one two three four six seven eight and last stitch yay nine so now what you'll see is when we lay this all out you'll see that we have the neckline that's where it opens Okay, second row, chain one and turn. Now we're going to start our pattern. We're going to put a ribbing along the side for where your buttons are going to go. And we're going to use half double crochet. One half double crochet in the back loop of each of the first five stitches. So it's two, three, Four and five. I'm also going to mark that first stitch because that's going to help me later making sure that I'm not adding or losing stitches. And now I'm going to continue on half double crochet through both loops. Okay now before we even do anything I'm going to show you a trick. So there's our chain two space. And this here is the first stitch after our chain space. Now, sometimes it can get covered up and we forget to stitch in it. So going back into the chain two space, we want half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. And now you can see that might have been covered up a little bit. Continue on.
one half double crochet in the back loop of each of five stitches. That's two, three, four, and five. Okay, let's keep going. So chain one and turn, and we're doing half double crochet in the back loop. One. I want my buttonholes on this side, so I'm going to start with the buttonhole. So one, two, half double crochets in the back loop, chain two, one, two, and then I'm going to skip the next two stitches that they would have gone into, and then into the third, which is the fifth stitch, half double crochet in the back loop, and then half double crochet through everything like normal and we're going to continue with our pattern and you'll see that that's our little that we've managed to get a little buttonhole continue on I'm going to put a stitch marker in my first stitch Not the chain one, just my first stitch. Now we are going to continue on like this and we're going to continue until we have 12 rows. So we have our 12 rows and things are looking fabulous. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to join to make the sleeves. We're going to join under the arms. So what we're going to do is we're still going to do our five stitches of back loop here and then we're going to do our half double crochet all the way across and then when we get to this corner we're going to put a stitch in the corner, chain one and then skip all of these and then put another stitch into this corner and then move along the back and do the same thing. So then when you get here put a stitch into this corner, chain one move into this stitch, skip all of these and then come across here and do our five back loop stitches. Back loop, one, two and we're going to put our stitch marker in there. Help us keep track of our first stitch. Three, four and five. Now our half double crochets through both loops. Got one more. Now we're going to half double crochet into the corner chain one and we can take that out because we won't need it anymore. We're going to skip all of these stitches yarn over into the next corner and continue on into the corner chain one skip all of these yarn over into the next corner and continue on Okay, and then we've got our five back loops. So one, two, three, 
four and five. Chain one and turn. So when we're looking at things now, we're joined under the arms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a stitch marker in this chain one and I'm going to put a stitch marker in this chain one because I'm going to do a slight increase in that stitch on the next round. All right, so we're up to here. So we're going to work backwards again. We're going to do our five back loop, our half double crochets, and then I'm going to do two half double crochets into the one slip stitch and then continue with half double crochets here, two half double crochets into the one, continue along here, and then we're going to do our five half double crochet back loops. Okay, we've reached our stitch marker. So we're going to put two half double crochet into that one stitch and then we're going to go into the next stitch which is here and then we're going to continue on now I don't need that stitch marker there anymore I'm going to continue on with my half double crochets until I reach the next stitch marker One more and then we've got our chain one so we're going to do two half double crochets in there and then we're going to move on to the next stitch and then we're just going to continue one half double crochet in each stitch. So again, get the same thing. And five half double crochet in the back loop. around okay now you'll see that we're due to put our buttonhole in okay we're due for another buttonhole so we're going to do that first so half double crochet and replace our stitch marker into the first stitch another half double crochet in the back loop chain two skip two stitches half double crochet in the back loop and then continue on There's no other changes in this row. All we're doing is our half double crochet all the way along after our buttonhole. And on the other side, our five 
back loop half double crochet again under your armhole should be nice and neat And our five half double crochet back loop. Two, three, four, and five. Chain one and two. All right. There you go. So now you can see under the arms, it's all looking pretty. Now, in case anybody has been wondering what this stitch marker is for, it's for nothing. I literally put it there on the side that is my front, where I'm going to be making my buttons, but it's just to dif differentiate. It's just to show me the difference between the front and rear if I'm using a stitch that looks the boat, the same on both sides. Um, yeah, there's no other reason and it's not necessary, but I do it. All right, <clears throat> moving on. So we've done our little increase here on each side, which has given us some ease under the arms. And there's only one more time I need to make some increases and that's down around the waist where the nappy area sort of is. So I'm going to continue doing exactly what I'm doing. So we just made the last buttonhole. I'm going to continue doing what we're doing until the next buttonhole row. So I'm going to do my five rows and then it'll be time for I'm going to do my five rows and then it'll be time for another buttonhole and on that row we'll we'll do our increases let me know in the comments what color you're making yours and who you're making it for so we've done our next five rows and we are up to our next buttonhole so we're going to make a buttonhole on this row but before we do any of that i'm just going to find the center back so i'm just gonna match those up there's a center back stitch I'm gonna put a marker in there and then under each arm I'm just gonna find a center stitch under the arm that'll do right there and the other side so we'll just go down and then there, there doesn't have to be exact as long as it's in the general vicinity okay so now we are going to increase underneath the arms and we're going to do that by the two stitches before and the two stitches after the stitch marker I'm going to put two stitches in each and I'm going to do that here on the center back and under the arm here. So keep continuing. Now I'm going to make my buttonhole. I've done my two back loop stitches. So chain one, chain two, skip two stitches and into there and then continue so I'm looking for the two stitches before the stitch marker okay so I'm two stitches before so I'm going to do two half double crochet in there two half double crochet in there so one two then the next stitch one and two then the, the stitch that I've got my marker in I'm going to do one half double crochet 
and then the next two stitches I'm going to do two stitches into one twice so one two and the next stitch one and two that's it that's how we do the increases so we've got two two our one center one where our stitch marker was and two and two and I'm going to repeat that under the other arm and in the center back so for now we don't need to put the stitch marker back in and we continue until we get two stitches away from the center back marker okay so we've got two stitches to go so two half double crochet in there two half double crochet in the next stitch in the center stitch our marked stitch we're going to do one half double crochet then the next two stitches two into each one two and one two and then we're going to continue on to the next stitch marker okay two stitches before our stitch marker so two half double crochet one two next stitch two half double crochet one and two and then we remove our stitch marker we put one half double crochet in that stitch and then in the next two stitches two in each one two one and two and then we just continue to the end of the row and do our five half double crochets in the back loop for our last five stitches one two three four and five chain one and okay so we've got a little bit of increase just on the sides and at the back okay so now I'm going to continue I'm going to do my next six rows and then put my next button so I've just put my buttonhole in there so I'm going to continue on put one more buttonhole and then I'm going to continue on again another six rows until I'm due to put another buttonhole in and I will meet you there on that second buttonhole row okay so I've gotten down to where my next buttonhole would be and I'm just going to measure where we would be in length we're at 29 which would be great if it was a newborn but we want to do three to six months so we want to go another um, three centimeters so what I'm going to do is I'd like it to be about 33 centimeters 33 34 centimeters long so I'm going to put in another buttonhole and do the rows again um, like I was ready to put in another buttonhole so instead of having one two three four five I'm actually going to have six buttonholes so put the buttonhole in and then do another couple of rows uh, let's see let's see which should be okay so Put the buttonhole in and complete your rounds like we were due to put in a seventh buttonhole and we'll start the crutch from there so i've done my last six rows 
there's my buttonhole then I've done six sorrows and I would be due to put in another buttonhole here now uh, but instead we're going to join everything together so essentially what that involves is placing our side with our buttonholes on top of our other side we're going to match up these five stitches and we're going to find the center stitch on this side because that's where we're going to join our crutch so first of all we want to figure out where is our center on the other side you can count your stitches or if you um, crochet pretty evenly and you can match them up by eye which I can I would say that is my center stitch now we've got here we've got five stitches let's just zoom in a little bit so we've got our five stitches here and we want the center stitch the third stitch to join up with this all right but for now what we need to do is we need to do a row of half double crochet but through both of these so let's find our fifth stitch so one two three four five so we know where we're going we've done our chain one and turn we are going to complete a half double crochet but through both layers double check that you've got your buttonhole side on top and yarn over insert your hook pick up your other side and insert your hook into the marked stitch pull your yarn through and complete the stitch so now we can move that out of the way so now again next stitch yarn over into the next stitch into the next stitch yarn over so we're just matching up one side and the other side okay so we've got one two three four and then our last one yarn over put it through okay pull up your loop and yarn over and pull through and there you go so now you'll see that they are joined together okay now next bit's the easy bit I am going to chain one and turn and I'm going to do one row of half double crochet so one two three four and five chain one and turn and again into the first stitch one two three four and five so now you'll see that we have our join piece in our crutch but we also have this extra little bit here and that's the part that's going to take us through to the other side so that'll make sure that things aren't too tight when we're joining here like that so we're going to have to turn everything inside out I'm going to find my third stitch or my center stitch which is one two three and then I'm going to match that center stitch with that stitch there so two stitches before is when we will start joining them together okay
So we have everything turned inside out. We've done our chain one and turn. And now we're going to look for the two stitches before the marker at the back. So we're only going to be doing single crochet this time. So I'm going to push through my stitch, push through my stitch that's two stitches to the right of the center marker, pull up a loop and done. Again, the next one. Now we'll be ready for our center stitch. So through our center, front and back, next, and last one. There we go. All right, so now you'll see that we have a crutch. Now I am finished doing that, so I'm going to cut off my yarn. I'm going to chain one and pull the tail all the way through. So that's nice and secure. And I'm going to turn everything in the right way again. And you'll see now that we have this cute little crutch area. You can pretty much do anything with this because now I can put short sleeves, I can put short legs, I can put no legs and just do a ribbing, I can put long legs, long arms and a hood. I can basically make anything from this basic pattern. If I wanted to just make a coat, I would have just continued another couple of rows at the bottom or you could stop it there because that's a nice length and just put the arms and the neck and hood on. See how it can be it can be anything. So this is a great basic pattern to learn and then from here we can customize it to suit what we want.